just answering questions from one person with WAPTEC. <clears throat> so all people who say there was thermite are liars. Okay, and this is about September 11th is the presumption here. Um, yes, because after, uh, I'm sorry, but anybody claiming to be an Arcanic engineer, scientist, pilot, whatever, a professional in a technical field making a claim, the buildings on September 11th were brought down using thermite explosives, would take maybe four or five minutes, even, I'm sorry, you can just go look up a book on thermite and find out it's not an explosive. And there isn't any wiggle room here. It's just literally a lie. People use the word, and honestly, this is the real reason, because most people didn't look up what thermite was, and they knew that they would not. So instead of it just dropping the subject quietly and shutting up about it, troll mode kicks in, double down. Double down is based on a person's ego. Well, it has to be some kind of thermite, because I'm not going to stop using it because it's in my book that I'm trying to sell, or because it's on my web page that I'm trying to get famous for, or it's because it's the title of a thread on Above Top Secret and I won't drop it. Thermite does not work the way that was described. It can work in a way, if you want to know about it, of uh, some of the material leaking out of the side of the building, but that could also have just been molten metal aluminum. Aluminum melts at a very low temperature. It was not, under any conditions, molten steel. It was never the claim, and the only people who have ever said steel beams were melted are conspiracy theorists who use that as a straw man. It's a fallacy. You create a argument that is simply not real and say that the other side is making it when they never have. That is also lying. Constantly repeating this, and then immediately someone will pull an Alex Jones and say, they never said that, but the archives of every single one of them saying it exists, so they did. Well, and then the next scapegoating is, or the next escape hatch is, well, they were planted by the government to make us look bad. Nobody has to do that. You do that well on your own. Next, nanothermite doesn't fucking exist. Someone went through and found a nanothermetic material article, which has a similar name and kind of is a similar subject, and then turned it into the nanothermite uh, Wikipedia page, and this is back when Wikipedia, if you changed the title of a page, it would obliterate all previous edits, so all the wheel warring would disappear. It was a defect in how uh, Wikipedia works, and it still is, unless you know that that's what someone's going to do with it. Any controversial article is now put into uh, correct revisioning and archiving, so you can't erase these facts. Nanothermite page, if you want to look it up. Well, it redirects to nanothermite. You know, nanothermite redirects this page. Yeah, it's because the conspiracy theories people sandbagged. Now, why am I going three minutes on this one sentence? Because this is a gish gallop and this is how you handle it. The entire time people have said that anything involving thermite happened on September 11th, the entire purpose of it was to waste people's time. It has never been true. There has never been any indication of it. And no, materials sourced on the day this happened didn't exist. A bunch of people said years afterwards that they, that they had some dust and dirt that they said they collected miles away that contained unreacted thermite. You know what a thermite is? Iron oxide and aluminum. Aluminum is one of the most common elements in the, in the ground, and iron oxide is rust. So rust and aluminum. And you know what's funny is when you examine the materials, if you can get a copy of it, you can get a sample of it without the conspiracy theorists running interference, you find out, no, it's not thermite. Well, it's a reactive element. You just said it was a reaction, non-reacted material. Well, it's a reaction material. The reaction material is a different set of chemicals. And again, it's still not now thermite or thermite. And what they find is it was paint chips with rust on it. And it did have some aluminum, but it wasn't thermite. That's it. This has been thrown into the, in, into the sewer repeatedly. So, again, I'm saying this with emphasis added. When someone has a, their nose ground into the fact that they said something that was simply never true, and they're still trying to sell a fucking video, book, or DVD, or sell themselves as a bullshit expert going around the country doing talks for $50 a plate because they won't stop saying the word thermite, they're liars. And that means literally everyone. Everybody who reposts a video, you're automatically a liar. Every fucking one of them. If I do it, I'm a liar as well. This is easily double-checked.
So now that we've wasted five minutes on one thing, thermite, people who say it's thermite are liars. This is a short but dirty trick. You're claiming they're all liars. Under these conditions, yes. Because they are. They're repeating something that is untrue and going out of their way to either ignore every single piece of information that proves really quickly that they're saying something that isn't true, which means they're lying, or they're ignorant. I don't call them ignorant anymore because this is incredibly easy to find. You're not doing due diligence. Screaming that the mainstream media is lying because they won't consider some bullshit story by Wolfgang Halbig? No. They're ignoring him because he's not a credible source. However, a book on how thermite works that was written in 1940 and follow-up books is a good source. These are not equal playing field ideas. Somebody screaming thermite because they won't remove it from the title of their fucking webpage is not a credible source. They're lying. And anybody who doesn't want to look it up, by definition, is lying too. You're repeating something that's untrue. And you can't claim to be ignorant of it. There are hundreds or thousands of people like me on the internet who will very quickly tell you, just read the article on thermite and stop sticking nano in it. Suddenly you find a bunch of facts. And then ask the people who claim they found it to produce a sample for independent testing. They fucking won't do it. You have to be a conspiracy theorist for them to let you loan it. Because they know conspiracy theorists won't really test anything. Now let's get on to your second gish gallop. The story that security was removed from all the buildings and workers were doing construction then was a lie. Okay, this is a mix of things. The fact that all the pieces of the building were taken away and destroyed so they could not be examined was a lie. Yes, that's a lie as well. The claim that jet fuel doesn't burn hot enough to melt metal is a lie. No, it's a lie to say that that was ever said by anybody who did any of the studies. Again, emphasis added, this is, a, not a, this is an example of a straw man. It's a created bullshit expression that keeps saying, jet fuel doesn't melt steel. That's never what the claim was. And people scream that. People who want to have the universe filled with a contiguous stream of conspiracy theories you can connect together scream these things. Because it may, it, the louder you scream, the less you listen. They didn't claim that it melted the steel. It softened it. The only people claiming the road molten steel were people who claimed that there was a ray gun from space doing it. Or, well, they're looking down in a pit full of molten steel. That, no, they weren't. That was never the claim of the people who were at the location doing the work. That has never been the claim. They said they, some of them said, we found molten metal, and someone said, I think it might be steel, but nobody who actually examined the area actually said it was molten steel. And, by the way, thermite doesn't make steel stay molten for two weeks afterwards. That's not how it works. And all you have to do is make some thermite and test it. There's thousands of videos on YouTube with people playing with thermite. Those are just stories I heard along with the story that the commission that investigated were implicated in the conspiracy is also a lie. Again, this is a convoluted statement. The people who did the, uh, the, the commission that, uh, that analyzed all of this crap for September 11th, um, I don't think it was a well-built commission, and I've criticized the, uh, the commission's report as well. I don't have to make up bullshit stories about mythical metals that don't do what you think they do. That's a lot of lying going on. Yes, that's a lot of lying going on by conspiracy theorists who keep fucking lying. Very good. But are we claiming it's somehow the mainstream media doing the lying? The only time that's ever happened, I think I think Fox News did a did a bullshit story about how September 11th had to be an inside story, inside job or whatever. But anyway, the video that shows the key of planned demolition was also a coincidence. Do you have a link to it? Whose video was it? What's their source? You can go ahead and do that. Um, WAPTAC has all the real information at his fingertips. Because I look shit up out of books out of a library? You're mocking my ability to look up shit in a book. Did you take an engineering course? Or are you a theologian? Or a politicized person? Or someone who's shilling? I actually know the, the channel that's posting this stuff, but a while ago you were claiming to be basically the source of God's word. Now you're doing this. Okay. Get some thermite, make it explode. 
Use thermite to melt steel or aluminum and see how long it takes for it to cool to a solid and not be red hot and visible. By the way, that pit image, they're looking down at molten metal. It was a, You can see that there's a work light pointed down into it and they're looking down at a hole in the ground. It's not heat from molten metal. The government that planned all this could not fool WAPTEC. The government didn't plan a fucking thing here. You have to show overwhelming proof of that because at this point, a pile of lies over here, a dung heap, has to be swept away by one fucking factual proof. One. I'm asking for one, not a convoluted horseshit pile. Yeah, you could prove the commission had a bunch of conflicts of interest. I personally think a lot of people did. I think the insurance company might have been involved in something, but actually hitting the buildings with planes, which is what fucking happened, is what caused it to come down, because none of you assholes out there come up with any better explanation. Better. Not just, oh, we got to come up with random explanations so we can say it's about gun control? Or whatever, you know, spin wheel. You know, FEMA camps. It's, it, you guys, it, why, why are you repeating this to me? This is not criticism web tip because I know nothing of what happened except what I read and just noting that there are a lot of professionals lying about this incident. No, there aren't. There are a bunch of people who claim to be architects, engineers, and pilots for 911 Truth, and when you check the list, 90% of them aren't any of those categories. They're just random people with a PhD in some cases. There was a letter writing campaign email where people were asked, would you like to sign on to this? So they signed up for it. They weren't told what they were signing up for. A bunch of random people. They just had to have a PhD or something. No, I'm not fucking kidding. That's what happened. They stacked it up that way and said, there's thousands of people signing this. And then a bunch of people said, remove my name from that list. And they refused to do it because they were lying. Why did they remove or destroy every piece of evidence they could, could prevent proof? They didn't. They were clearing up a catastrophe and removing the materials and taking it to a location called Fresh Kills and using it as a staging area. They didn't throw it away. A lot of the stuff was examined, they photographed almost 100% of it, and then they sent it off to be scrapped because it was taking up space and it was from a building that caved in. And I'm sorry, everyone saw a bunch of planes hit the goddamn buildings and nobody put any explosives in it because nobody walks into a building that's on fire and plants explosives like that. That's an incredibly amazing, over-the-top, non-real assertion that people make. And that's the other thing about this uh, conspiracy theory pile of people. They won't make a definitive assertion. They say, well, maybe this and maybe that. Well, yeah, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Maybe I'll explode into flames in five seconds. It didn't happen. Why the fuck would this be a rational person's pathway to figuring out anything? We're just asking questions. No, you're introducing bullshit assertions and fucking running away when someone asks you, what are you making an assertion about? Did people plant explosives in the building beforehand? Okay, what's your sh what is your overwhelming proof this happened? Nobody posts a link. There is more than enough convincing huge portion of people it was a conspiracy. Research the following. Never mind, it doesn't matter. So now we're faced with peculiar situations. Scientifically ignorant, two-bit punk American pro prostitutes claim to know more than the editors of the journal European Physics Community and scientists who, d who did the investigation. The scientists who did the investigation agree that the two planes brought it down and there weren't explosives. These other people you're talking about, again, are fake experts. Or, or resume patterns, or people who didn't want to be part of this listing. As for European physics community, the European physics community as a whole has said this is horse shit as well. The truth or assertions. Don't you like a far-fetched and ignorant, corrupt, cowardly American journalist who lie for money no more than physicists and chemists? The physicists, chemists, etc., and our high-rise architects you're quoting didn't say any of this. And architects aren't necessarily engineers that understand fires or anything. You can keep posting this shit, it doesn't change what happened. The United States government and its media know better than the laws of physics. The laws of physics weren't violated that day, and you guys want a special version of physics that doesn't hurt your feels. The person who's been posting this has been antagonizing me for several weeks. I'm deleting every single one of his comments because I'm fed up with this shit. Go fuck with someone else. And take your uh, wannabe Jesus uh, syndrome with you.